Hey guys and welcome back to Rust. So I'm guessing you're here because you want to know the weird tip that's covered by this single mom that allows you to get airdrops easily 100% of the time. Doctors hate it, but seriously, let me crush your dreams here real quick. There's no such tip, but there's a couple things you can do and not do that will increase your chances of successfully getting an airdrop without dying. First off, you're going to see a lot of people who run right up to the drop as soon as it lands, or even stand underneath it while it's falling. This is very illogical, I'll break it down for you. A plane flies over and drops a huge tempting jackpot, which only the best players have a good shot at getting, so chances are, as you're standing with your back to everyone, unable to defend yourself, stuffing your face full of explosives and ammo, there's all the full kevs on the map and like 10 nakeds running from every direction to your exact location, and when they find you, there's no way they won't try and kill you, and if you're busy looting, they will almost always succeed. Stupid. Now of course we're not saying it's impossible to survive a drop by running up right away, because sometimes they get a good enough head start that you'll be able to make it away before the kevs show up. But you take your chances. Generally though, we've found that the best thing to do is sit back and wait until other people show up and then kill them while they're in their menu. A couple of things are wrong with this, however. First of all, you're pretty vulnerable while sitting around in this suddenly high traffic hotspot, so this is where barricades can come in handy to block off your flanks. As a general rule, it's a good idea to carry around like 20 barricades because they're helpful for fucking everything, but in this case a wooden shelter would also work well. In fact, better, because it completely protects you from all angles but one, and it also looks a little bit more natural to everyone else. Some barricades could easily draw attention from more experienced players. Another flaw in our strategy is that sometimes, even if you're waiting for them, you'll get a whole buttload of kevs working together to get the drop. And let's just stop right there and say that your absolute best bet for getting drops is going with like 5 people with your best armor and guns. But if you already play with a huge clan, then you probably don't have any trouble and you probably won't be watching this video. So we're assuming that you're not the richest bastard on the server and you want to get the drop that's normally reserved for the best of the best. Alright, so you arrived at the drop a little early and now you're sitting in your wooden shack with your sights aimed at the drop, waiting to kill all the noobs who think they can just run up and take it. But two people show up together and catch you off guard. What do you do and who do you shoot first? In this kind of situation, it's very important to stay calm. It's a common problem across all first person shooters that when you see two people, you sort of shoot between them and end up killing neither of them. I'm not the only one who does this, am I? It's important to make a good decision and then commit to one of the guys and take them one by one. So how do you decide which guy to kill first? Generally, you want to go for the guy with the biggest gun or the best armor. In this case, I would argue that you're better off killing the guy who's standing still looting the drop, not his bodyguard buddy. In my opinion, it's better to get one kill for sure than to risk fucking up and having two guys after you. The guy looting the drop is standing completely still and is an easy kill, but his buddy could dodge or place a barricade or get away, which means you've gotten yourself into a 2v1 fight. A big part of getting airdrops is being good at PvP, and if you want some quick PvP tips, you can click the annotation or check the link in the description. Now, let's say you've killed a couple of guys from your hiding spot. When is it safe to come out and get the drop for yourself? Well, of course, this is going to be different for every situation and depend on the server population, but generally, once you get the first few kevs, you're probably good to go. The nice thing about getting those first kills is, now you get the airdrop and whatever else your victims were carrying, which is usually a shitload of good stuff since they were confident enough to go for the drop. People who die at airdrops tend to leave their stuff for dead, so you probably don't have to worry about them coming back. Again, use barricades to set up little shelters while you loot, and only take the important things because now you're the one out in the open. If you go to the airdrop late, be careful of other people who might be hiding in the shadows, especially if you see a bunch of backpacks surrounding the drop. If you get there just in time to see a bunch of nakeds running after each other, try and kill the leader of the pack because he's probably the one with the stuff. In situations like this, remember the airdrop isn't lost until someone makes it to their house. Until then, the loot is just as accessible, but it's not in a nice big drop crate. It's in some noob's inventory. In fact, letting someone else get the drop can even be to your advantage if you follow them away into an area where you're less likely to run into so many people. Then the fight could end up being a clean one-on-one. -on -one. So here's another popular strategy that probably makes up half the people who go for drops. Just go naked. You have nothing to lose, and if you get there quick enough, you actually have a slim chance of getting it. The only thing we wouldn't recommend is going with cloth or leather and a pistol or pipe. You gotta go all or nothing. Going with cloth armor, you'll just end up losing out most of the time. As we mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to grab your loot and get out. This is pretty common sense, and most people can figure it out for themselves, so that can leave a whole bunch of mediocre items lying around the drop zone. If you missed out on the airdrop and you're not too well equipped, it might be worth going on a scavenger mission after all the commotions died down and collect all the loot that people missed. There's some basic math you have to consider when you go for drops. There's one to three crates, and how many people are on your server? Let's say a third of the population goes for the drop. Now do the math. Some people are going to win, and some people are going to lose. It's impossible to get the drop 100% of the time, and by the same logic, if you do it enough, you'll get it eventually. So there are a lot of creative strategies to help you get those drops, and if you feel we've missed something, or you have something to add, please contribute your ideas and leave them in the comments so we can all learn from them. We hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, you might want to subscribe or follow Rustips on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching, and we hope to see you all next time.